Good morning. I am Deacon Amanda, and I am here with our children's message for the second Sunday in Lent. This morning, we are going to be talking about Abraham and Sarah. You might remember that Abraham and Sarah were given a promise by God, just like Noah was last week. Um, God made them a promise um, and specifically told Abraham that God would make sure that he would have so many children and, and family that would come after him that it would be more than the number of stars that Abraham could count in the sky. I don't know if you have ever looked up in the sky, but there are a lot of stars there and I don't think I could count them. And even if I could, I'm pretty sure there's like billions of stars. Um, so I don't think I could count that high. But um, with all of those billions of stars, uh, Abraham and Sarah, they continue to have a large, large family, right? That's a lot of relatives. But there was one problem. Abraham and Sarah, they didn't have any kids when God made the promise. And they were actually pretty old. In our story today, we are going to hear about Abraham and Sarah. And the promise that uh, this continued promise that God made. So God promised that he would make um, Abraham's family so big. He would have a huge family that Abraham would become a father and a grandfather and a great, great grandfather. And then he would have so many family members. And that's where our story starts today. We are going to read a story today from um, the Spark Story Bible, which is from Augsburg Fortress. Um, our, their um, imprint, uh, Spark House, is where this comes from. And this is the ELCA's publishing house. So um, we used to give out these Bibles. Um, uh, and if this is something that your family might want, we would um, love to be able to help you um, find a story Bible, whether it's this one or the one that we currently give out. Um, but let's continue reading the story. When Abram was 99 years old, he and his wife Sarai were still waiting for God's promise of a huge family to come. They were 99 years old. Abram was getting frustrated and he asked God, well, what are you waiting for? Why is this taking so long? God spoke to Abram, I will keep my promise and now I'm going to change your names. Instead of Abram, your name will be Abraham. And instead of Sarai, your wife will be Sarah. Abraham was afraid of what God had said. He thought he was too old to become a father of so many people. And his wife was too old to have children. He fell on his face and peeked up with one eye. Could God really make this happen? Later, as Abraham was sitting by a tent, he saw three strangers walking toward him. Abraham squinted into the sun and wondered who might be visiting him on this hot day. And there's Abraham and those visitors way out there. Hi, Abraham said when they arrived, you must be tired from traveling. Would you like to sit down and rest and have some food? Quickly, Abraham asked Sarah to make some bread, and she ordered his, he ordered his servant to prepare some meat. Sarah stood in the tent and listened to the visitors. Who were they? Why had they come to her house? And why were they talking about her? They were talking about Sarah. She leaned in just a little closer so she could hear. Your wife, Sarah, she is going to have a son they said to Abraham. And Sarah started to laugh. <laughs> Didn't they know that she was too old to have children? Didn't they know? The visitors looked up and said, why is Sarah laughing? Doesn't she believe in God's promise? Well, God's promise did happen. Sarah had a baby boy and named him Isaac, which means laughter. Abraham and Sarah's family grew and grew and grew, and God blessed each generation with laughter and happiness. So there are, there's Sarah, she's laughing 
when she hears the news and then Abraham and Sarah with Isaac over here. And we know that the story of Abraham and Sarah continues with, with Isaac um, and continues on for generations and generations. There are so many um, more people a part of this family. Um, and just like Abraham and Sarah, we are members of God's family. We are um, God's children. And that uh, continues to be a blessing for us as well. I hope you have a good day.